today I thought that I would make a video about my role in the Disney College program. So for those of you who don't know, I am a merchandise cast member. Um, so I just thought that I would make this video kind of talking about where I work and just the basic job functions of my role. Um, maybe this is helpful for you if you're interested in the Disney College program and want to learn more about the merchandise role, um, or if you just want to know more about what I do. So first of all, I work in Adventureland and Liberty Square in Magic Kingdom. The places that I work are the Pirates Bazaar, which is the Pirates of the Caribbean gift shop, Memento Mori, which is the Haunted Mansion gift shop, the Ye Olde Christmas shop, Agrabah, which is in Adventureland, it's like right across from the Aladdin Magic Carpet Ride, and there's also an outdoor cart in Adventureland. Then I also, which this is my favorite thing that I get to do, which is the glow carts that come out at night. So I don't know if you've ever seen them, but it's the carts that come out with all the light up swords, all the little spinning things. It's like, it's everything, every toy that lights up. So I'm very fortunate because I'm able to work at so many locations. So I have a lot, every day I kind of get a new experience, which is really cool. So that's just a little bit about where I work. Um, so now I thought that I would kind of go into detail of why I love merchandise so much and why I recommend it if it's a role that you're looking at considering for the Disney College program. And so here's the reasons why I think so. Number one, and this is the reason why I love merchandise so much. You get so much guest interaction. Literally, you're getting paid to just talk to people. When I had my phone interview, I kept stressing the importance of guest interaction, how I wanted to be able to talk to people and have meaningful conversations. Well, merchandise is definitely the role for that. You're able, because even though you're bringing up guests, it's in those moments you're able to talk to them, ask where they're from, ask how their trip has been, and honestly, once you start talking to a guest, it's amazing some of the things that they'll talk to you about. I've had guests go on and on and on about telling me stories about their family coming to Disney before, or um, I've also just talked to guests that have I've been able to make so many connections with, either they're from my home. I met one family one time in Pirates who's from my hometown. What are the odds of that? I live in an itty bitty small town. So it's just really awesome because you're really able to interact with guests, both children, adults, everyone. It's really, really awesome to just get to talk to people and um, I mean, and you mostly you're talking about Disney, so like, it's pretty awesome. Second reason that I really like merchandise is because you're able to pin trade, which is really cool. So let me show you what pin trading is. So if you're merchandise, during your training, you'll be given a lanyard that looks like this with all sorts of pins on it. So I don't know if you can make me move a little closer. So it has all different pins. You're supposed to have 12, but sometimes they fall off, so yeah. So this is what a pin lanyard looks like. So when you're merchandise, you get to wear this. We don't wear them on the glow cards, but when we're in the shops, we wear them. So we wear these in the shops, and so a lot of guests pin trade. I never really knew about pin trading until I started working at Disney, but it's actually a pretty cool concept. So say this family comes in, this little boy is like, oh, I really like this pin of a running man. I'm not really sure about this pin. And you're like, oh, okay, and then he has a Mickey pin that he wants to trade you. So you take the pin off, you give it to the little boy, and then he gives you his Mickey pin. So it's a really cool way because I've been able to see so many different kind of pins, and guests just get really, really excited when you have a pin that completes their collection. And pin trading is also a really wonderful way to open up conversation and learn more about guests. There are a lot of roles that do pin trading, but not every role. So merchandise is actually pretty lucky that they get to do that. The third reason why I think merchandise is one of the best roles is because you are able to work anywhere. So yes, of course you are going to have your prime location where you're mostly going to be working. But it is so easy to pick up shifts at other locations. I've been able to work at Epcot, I've been able to work at Hollywood Studios, and I've been able to work numerous locations in Magic Kingdom that are not my area. So it's really awesome because you get to learn more about your park that you're in. You also get to work at other parks and learn about them. You can work in any of the resorts. You can also work in Disney Springs. So there's a lot of locations that you're able to pick up. So I like to pick up because Although I love my location, it's good to kind of get away and learn more about the company and learn more about different parks and different areas. And it's really cool when you get to meet awesome people doing that as well. Whenever, if you're in the Disney College program and you get accepted for merchandise, once you get down here, there are going to be Facebook pages galore about, um, like there's a huge one. Usually there's a really huge one. It's like WDW Merchandise Shift Exchange page. 
and that's where everyone posts from like Disney Springs, from the resorts, from all the parks. Um, and so people will post shifts they're giving away or shifts they're trading. So it's super, super easy to trade your shifts and pick up shifts in other locations. So that's just a really cool thing we get to do because again, not every role is able to do that. Um, so merchandise is really fortunate because we're able to kind of get so many different experiences. The fourth reason why I love merchandise is because we're able to make magical moments for guests, which is amazing. So whether I'm in the shops or whether I am on my glow cart, I'm able to give merchandise away to guests. So sometimes families will just pull up my heart or I'll have a really good interaction with them and they're just like such a sweet little family or maybe it's their honeymoon, maybe it's a little kid's birthday. There's so many different reasons that I've done magical moments. But if for some reason a guest really tugs at my heart, I am able to give away merchandise, which is really cool. And so we call those magical moments. And I had one lady one time, I gave her a pair of ears um, she just really couldn't afford them, but she really wanted them, and I gave them to her, and she just starts bawling. She's crying. She's like, thank you so much. She's like, I've really been wanting those, but she didn't have to give me those for free. And she's talking about how it was her little boy's birthday, and then a cast member gave them, gave him a free toy, and she's like, this has just been such a magical trip, and, and then she had me crying, so... It's pretty cool because in merchandise we are able to do those magical moments. So merchandising means you are entertaining the merchandise. So that means you are, you are wearing these ears. Say if I sold them in one of the shops I work at, then I can wear these around and talk to guests. When I work in pirates, I always wear pirate themed, whether it's ears, a hat, a sword, an eye patch, whatever. Um, merchandising is a really important part in our location. I know several merchandise locations are the same way. Um, in our location, it's very big because they want us to entertain the merchandise. It's a good way to show guests what we sell, and it's also a great way to interact with guests and have a lot of fun with them and get into theme and get into character. So let me just kind of talk about the basic functions of merchandise. So you're either going to be on a register shift or you're going to be on a stock shift. So if you're registers, that means you're ringing up guests. That might mean you're greeting guests as they come into the shop. Um, I know when I work in Pirates, we have a thing called Gangplank Greeter. I don't know if you're familiar with Pirates, but after guests ride the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, they enter through our gift shop. So a lot of times we'll have a cast member standing back there greeting the guests, acting like a pirate um, as they come into the shop, which is really, really cool. So if you're a register shift, you might be, um, you might be doing that. You might be greeting, you'll be ringing up guests. You might also be doing what we call tasking. And so if you're tasking, that means you're either helping keep the store show ready, so picking up trash, um, putting putbacks back, putting uh, packages into the system. Sometimes guests will want to send their purchases, their merchandise back to their resort or to the front of the park, which is a courtesy that we do for our guests. And so if they do that, then if you're tasking, you'll go log those packages into the system. Um, or you'll be gathering hangers from around the store and putting them up. Basically, you're just kind of cleaning up the store and making it look show ready. That's if you're a register shift. If you're a stock shift, that basically means you're stocking the shelves. So you're replenishing the shelves with items for guests. So you're putting out plush. So like, say the shelf is out of Mickey plush. You're going to go to the back, grab more Mickey plush, keep it keep the shelf stocked. Again, you're kind of making the store look show ready. For stock, you're not ringing up guests, you're just making the store look nice and making sure that there are plenty of inventory, plenty of items out on the floor for guests to purchase. And if you're stock, you're also there to help guests say they want a certain t-shirt but the size they want is not on the floor. So then they'll come to you and you're responsible for going to the back into the stock rooms and seeing if they have that item for guests. So that's another pretty cool thing. Um, so if you're merchandise, you're either going to be register shift or stock. Now if you wear glow carts, I know every park and Disney Springs has glow. I've only worked Magic Kingdom and I've done Phantasmic Glow at Hollywood Studios. There were some differences so I'm not sure how different glow is in each park, but this is how it is for us in Magic Kingdom. So if you're glow, it's a little bit different because you're kind of your own shop. So you get an apron, you have to be cash apron trained to do glow. Now we have tablets, which is a really nice courtesy to the guests because we're able to take magic bands and we're able to take credit cards. So basically they assign you a place to go. You're either going to be roaming, which means you get to walk anywhere you want around the park, or you're going to have a specific zone. So that's if you're going to be Fantasyland, Main Street, 
etc. Once you get out, after you count your cart and you get your money and everything, basically you're your own show and you're just selling glow merchandise. You can wear the merchandise. I love wearing the ears. I get to wear um, the glow necklaces. You can really go crazy and have so much fun. So when you're at your cart, basically you're just responsible for taking the cash um, or ringing up using a credit card on the tablet. And Glow is really cool because little kids get so excited. As soon as those carts are on stage for the night, guests go crazy. Little kids just come running to your cart and they're like, Mommy, I want this and this and this. And it's amazing how just a little toy that lights up can bring so much joy to a child. Overall, I love merchandise. It's really, really fun. You get to meet a lot of people from all over the world. And you get to wear, well, for me, because of my location, I get to wear so many costumes, which I'm obsessed with. Um, and merchandise is just awesome. So if you're thinking about the Disney College program, I definitely recommend merchandise. It's a lot of fun, you get to meet awesome people, and build really cool relationships both with your coworkers and with guests, which is really cool. Um, if you guys have any other questions about maybe merchandise or my locations or my experiences, please leave it in the comments below, and I will definitely answer those questions for you. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time at the Kingdom. Bye, guys!